Good afternoon. I'm Ariana Cohen Halberstam. I am the artistic director of Boston Jewish Film and of the Boston Israeli Film Festival. I want to thank our presenting sponsor, the Fine Family Foundation and CJC. And a huge thank you to the Consulate of Israel to New England, who was very helpful in finding um, speakers and in supporting the festival and to the IAC. The festival continues through March 10th with events happening each day, um, as well as screenings. So please log in and watch films until March 10th, that's Wednesday. Tomorrow, we will be talking with one of the mothers from Four Mothers. Um, that will be at 7 p.m. tomorrow, and I hope you can join us for that. Now, I'm really excited to be here with some incredible guests. Uh, first, I'd like to welcome the director of Rock for the Time Machine, God Eisen. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, and someone who you'll recognize well, um, probably from knowing the music, but also from this film, Eli Lulai, uh, who's Hi. here with us today. And someone else you might recognize from the film, um, um, who is a journalist and musician and has played with Rock for, um, who will be moderating mm -hmm. the conversation today. Welcome, Shai Nobleman. Thank you for being here. In about 20-ish minutes, Shai will begin to take questions from all of you. So if you have questions, please put them into the Q&A section and we will get to them in a little bit. Enjoy. Hi and uh, good evening, uh, Boston. Uh, how are you folks? It's great to have you here <laughs> at my living room in the, the Kiryat Krenitsi neighborhood in Ramat Gan. I would like to say thank you to my friend Leon Feldman who asked me two days ago if I can make this session and I was very glad to have it. Um, Rock 4 is a special band for me. You know, uh, when uh, director God Eisen called me a year ago and asked me to be interviewed to his uh, new do documentary film he was doing about the band, I was very, very glad because uh, my history with the band going back goes back to the year of 1994. I, I remember I was very, very young. I was 20 years old. I was reading a a Tel Avivian newspaper, and there was a, a, an item saying that Rock 4 uh, are rehearsing, the band are rehearsing for uh, their second album. They are in the studio, and this time they're using vintage equipment to try to um, re recapture and recreate this, the psychedelic sound of the 60s, 60s bands, and I was heavily influenced and I was he heavily into psychedelic bands at the time. So um, when the album came out, The Man Who Seen It All, I was working at the time also as a music cri critic for my Reeve newspaper, it's a local paper. And I, I asked uh, the editor, you know, I, that I want to write about this album. So he gave me the CD and I remember it very well. It was Friday afternoon. I was sitting at my parents' house 200 from where I live now, and play the CD, and I instantly realized that I'm listening to a classic album, just uh, one of the best, and I'm still thinking, and I still think that it's uh, one of the best Israeli album ever. And I, I wrote, I think, the best critic the album uh, received that uh, the week it was released. And the day after, their manager at the time, Daniel Recht, called me, and said, you know, was grateful for, for, for the critic. And he said, come and meet the band. You know, we are playing tomorrow at uh, Ramata Sharon Club called the, the 12th Night. And I went there with my car. I was a soldier at the time and I met the band and we struck a, a friendship. And um, I helped them in London. I think it's in the film to, to open them some doors through this guy, Bill Allerton. But um, it's it's got really exciting in the year 2000 when the Rockfall band, the Rockfall guys, came with me to to the studio and to help producing and playing on my solo album How to Be Shy, and its success at that time uh, is is it's great. It's thanks for them, you know, they they made a great great contribution. And Rockfall released ten studio albums, two compilations, and why. One live album, you know, when I look at them, the men who seen it all, their best uh, achievement from 1995, 
was followed by Supermarket from the year 2001. Their, their first English album was Progressive Sound and Melotron. And um, unjustifiably ignored from 2007, Memories of the Never Happened for My Taste, a brilliant indie rock album with great songs. And here with us, Gadi Eisen, the director, and the fantastic, fantastic lead vocalist, songwriter, a great artist, and a true friend of mine, Eli Lulai. Such a, I'm, I'm excited, Eli. I, I'm, I'm really, really excited. Um, You're doing I, a wonderful job you, 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 with the story and everything. <laughs> so go on, go on. I feel like in the Rock and Roll <laughs> Hall of Fame, you know. <laughs> yeah, fantastic, the, great. Now, great. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm curious, you know what? You, you're telling so much stories that I, yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, I, I want to remember you that we are not paying for that. <laughs> Festival pay, not a lot, but uh, oh, okay. I'm in the desert, guys, so I'm having fun anyhow. I, anyhow, Eli, um, I'll, I'll start yeah. with you. You know, um, how, how was you, you? You know, we, we just finished uh, the year 2020, we are on March. To mm -hmm. 2021 how was the year 2020 for you personally and for the band um it was a very special year for i think uh, all the, all all the all the places but uh, yeah for me it was a, a special year it uh, began uh, like uh, we thought you know it was like we were very isolated but then we realized that uh in spite of the isolation we can i can make you know, music and uh, get into it. And uh, I had more time to be with my family and to, to, to get into the music and uh, to get into like, uh, to, to, to take care of myself because I was like, as, as you can see in the movie, I was like with a lot of ups and downs before the, the, the 2020 and, uh, and, uh, I started to meditate and to do uh, a lot of Qigong and it's very relaxing. I'm, uh, I'm, I, I feel much better, you know, as, as I before, like in the, in the movie, th there was like uh, times that I felt very, very low or like, uh, you know, very down and it's uh, much, much stable now. So uh, it was, it was kind of a special year, I think, you know, for, yeah. for for the music also you yeah, know for you, people you, that yeah, yeah. sorry so you, rock four released a new album this year mm -hmm. uh, was it difficult to support the album without big playing big shows big concerts as you used to to do since the uh, mid 90s yeah it was really different it was different uh uh we we were supposed to do a lot of shows to promote the album and uh we couldn't do them but uh but then we we had the the chance to perform in uh people you know places like in, in houses and stuff and uh and uh being very intimate intimate with uh with uh, like 20 or 30 people and uh and it was uh, very like uh we we played some new material in the in, in those shows and it was uh it was very special and uh we discovered that wor world different point of view of you know big shows suddenly you know the small shows was very uh very close and very uh real no no nothing you know to to use like no no flashlights and not not a big stage and uh it it was important i think it it's still important it's still working it we're still doing it and it's and all the band is feeling like very good with that uh with that kind of shows but uh, i think now we we're gonna start you know getting back to the to the big shows and uh start to promote an, that that new album you know, I have a difficult, I have a dif difficult question, but uh, uh, for myself as a fan, as a long mm -hmm. time, are you, what's your position like when you play concerts in Israel? Are, are you do you have like problems, or are you sad that the the, the fans are main mainly ask you to play the songs from the first three albums because you made so many after those albums, you know, many albums in mm -hmm. English, back recording in Hebrew, 
you know yeah uh i always like to play new songs you know for me uh, that's the reason i'm writing a uh, new material so i could play it but i understand people who was you know are, they are used to something and they want to get that you know what what they used to so uh we're trying to play uh classics and uh and you know songs that people like but still try to uh you know uh, give them a little <laughs> here and there you know give yeah. try, here and there and trying everywhere. To, yeah yeah trying to to you know convince them that the, do, the do, new do songs manage, are okay do you manage to manage influence Baruch the guitar player to sing some of the songs that he sang in your absence because they did some mm. great material back then you know yeah yeah uh when uh, there was like a uh, 10 years that we kind of you know there was we were separated and yeah. uh and uh when when i came back i i uh you know after you know after the ego and stuff and 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 you know when i listened when i heard the the music uh i liked a couple of songs there and uh we, we played it in a in a couple of shows oh yeah 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 and it, it was it worked really well you know and uh yeah and then and then we because there's the the the, the playlist is, you can't put everything on a playlist and you want to make all the like most of the of the of the classic and the hits you know the hits i'm saying the, the hits like you know it's well, not you had big few, you, you, major you had hits few. but you had few you had few yeah yeah so you you want to put the classic and you want to put some new songs and uh you, yeah it's like a puzzle uh, you you're trying to figure out What's the ba- best playlist, you know, for for people? Okay, now we'll, we'll switch to Gadi and we'll come back, of, 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 of course, course, to you, of, of course, course Ellie. Gadi, you, you're, you're, you're the director of the film and you did a, a, a tremendous job. It, it, it wasn't an, an easy task. So I wanted, you. To ask you, uh, I wanted to ask you first, uh, and, and, I, well, and I have to, to mention that you're a documentarist, you made... few documentary films before this film that we are talking about so for the start what made you start working on this film and what when and can I regard you as a rock fall fan yeah first um, thank you for the compliments and I have to start with the support of the film because without that we we never have been here So I have to thank to it's the the feeling found Mako feeling found which they believed in me they saw the trailers and uh, they were the first one to believe in the feeling and uh, then after them came uh, yes uh, doco which is the satellite channel and they also uh, believed in the feeling but that's happened only lately and I remember the day where I started the feeling it was the um, Uh, six years ago uh, 2014 and I came to I met the the program the, the program manager of years doco and I told him uh, I, I want to do uh, a film about rock for and they are going to unite after the 10 ten, ten years and he told me wow I like the band but it's not a mainstream it's uh, you know it's a, it's a, it's a band that influence everybody but you It's not for everybody and it took me I think four years to convince them after I convinced uh, uh, the Philly Foundation that look for is the main band in Israel for my opinion so you can hear in my voice that I am a big fan and I had uh, access to the to the band uh, since the 19th because I was a friend of the drummer of Not that one, no, but no. Isar, yeah, and all the rest Isar, is history. I have, I, I have to have Isar Tenenbaum, a legendary drummer, and what, yeah. my day, one of the best drummers in Israel of all time. So he's a childhood friend of yourself, of you? Yeah, we grew up together in Ramat Gan, you know, in a small place. Yeah. And um, also, I, I have, it's always in Film Festival, I have to thank the editor to Noit and Yonatan and of course yeah. the people, uh, Guy Lavi from Yazdoko and Amit and Evelyn. Without those people, there was no feeling. So now so, I, I can feel free to, to speak about the feeling. Great. Because, how, long, uh, the, Gadi, how long did you work on the film? 
Actually, I, I started a long time ago uh, when I heard that Ellie is coming back uh, to the band. I uh, was begging to Isa, please let me fill in the rehearsal, let me. And I thought I, I, that I'm coming from one year uh, to shoot uh, the recreation of the band. And after one year, there will be in uh, Caesarea, which is the, the main venue in Israel. And that's it. One year film. Very short, very easy. And, and what became, happened? <laughs> became and a five year, five years film. Five years uh, shooting. Yeah. How many five hours, Gadi? How many shooting materials did you have there? <laughs> I have a uh, six terabyte. <laughs> six terabyte and not in 4K, in 1K. <laughs> If you, you can convert it to eight millimeters film, would you, you, yeah, yeah, you can imagine. <laughs> only, only the Rock for Archive, which I have to thank Ellie, Ellie's uh, wife, Anat, yeah. and everybody there, that the Ellie himself, that they were filming. That's, that is my luck. They were filming, and also they, they did a small the commentary, that, which I, I got from uh, a director, uh, Amikam, and... Um, only the material of the archive were a feeling by himself. So if you join this with everything, we had a lot of work to, 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 to understand what is it about and how to tell the story. And I must tell you that the moment that I understand that Ellie is the main narrative and his story is the story of the band, and which happened not in the beginning, and uh, from that point, it was uh, clear what I'm going to do. And still it was difficult, like every documentary. It's a, it's a small Everest every time. Yeah, well, you answered me the uh, question because I wanted to ask you that after those hundreds of, of uh, shootings are right, the hundreds, right? Hundreds yeah. of tons of tape. And what was the moment that you realized, I got it, this film is happening, it's going to be a great film? Was it when Ellie was very, suddenly you realized you have a, a, an open, an open personality that exposed himself in his uh, salon and talking uh, about his past and all, all his difficulties? Um... Was it that? The moment I, I, I will now tell something I don't think I, I spoke about. The, the moment I had the, the feeling that this is going to happen is the day we shoot with Ellie's mother and he sings to her. And uh, I had uh, tears in my eyes. He, he doesn't know. I was so excited. So that, that's the day I, I said from that point, nobody will tell me no. Mm -hmm. That's great. Eli, you know, um, I remember the first uh, Rock 4 concert I saw, I think it was in the uh, year before the release of The Man Who's Seen It All in 1994. Suddenly I had a flashback today, you know, I'm in the desert, mm -hmm. so like Moses and, you know. <laughs> you put, know a, I, put, I, put a hat, you know, put a hat so, you know, you won't be warm, you know, and just uh, put I something. Have this, yeah. I don't have ah, this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the Bedouin took my hat. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I, I was, you know, there was a girl called Maya. She was an army soldier, a girl, and I, I really, I really liked her. And uh, I told her, come with me to the Logos Club. It's like a tiny club or pub in, in Tel Aviv. And there is this band, the Rock Four. I read about them. I want to 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 hear to hear their their new songs, the new psychedelic material. Is like what I've read. And she came with me and I was very excited that she's next to me sitting, you know, it was very, very excited. And suddenly you guys came on stage and Baruch started playing with the 12 string electric Rickenbacker guitar, like the Roger McQueen bird style. And the three of you started singing in the harmonies, Beatles like harmonies. And I, I forgot about, I forgot about the girl. <laughs> My <laughs> disappeared and I was listening. <laughs> You know, <laughs> Bauch was quoting the, 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 the riff of pictures of Matchstick Man for the beginning of the Hakas. And uh, mm. I remember you were singing uh, Sid Barrett songs and then you played mm -hmm. the, first, uh, the, the, the first time that you played those uh, songs, The Hole in the Moon. And um, what, 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 back then, um, as an artist, as a, as a, as a youngster, what, what, what was your um, 
what is your 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 motive what what you you was what was your dream you know back then back then i wanted to uh uh to it uh, we were very naive and we wanted to make only music you know it was important after the first album that was uh not like you know we didn't like it too much you know and we wanted to change everything and the the second album we wanted it to be honest and and real and uh and uh you know to not to compromise on on nothing so uh so we worked really hard and we were very uh uh we believed a lot in in this album and and it started really rough like uh like 10 15 people came to see us and uh and uh and as you described you know people like you and uh, the, there was a lot of 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 people that was really into the music and uh, it started to be yeah, the people brought pe- friends and and it started to be really full full house and uh, we played a lot of shows uh, like uh, we started it started to be i don't know if to call it success but we were really happy with with the result of you, you know you worked because you, you worked very hard i know you were you yeah, played we worked really hard concerts and and when you people from abroad they, they might not know that but i remember that even at times you were thinking outside of the box you know you played like for when john lennon had birthday so you you played like a, a beat the beatles cover uh, concerts and you were thinking all the time of things that will make mm-hmm. you, yourself artistically proud but all also please the crowd yeah of course you, you we we're not mainstream but uh, which we want we want to please our our people you know the people who's coming to see the shows we want to you know to to be uh to to give them uh different styles and uh, you can't always you know play the same and uh it's also boring so uh that's that's the reason i think and uh and and uh until 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 now in the shows when when i'm pl- I, i'm playing the songs from uh, the man who saw it all it's like uh i'm playing it almost for the first time so it's really yeah. easy for me uh, you know uh, what did you ask you about um, um your, your your you know it's very uh, it's hard to ignore the, the co- in the film the contribution of your wife anat You know for my test a, a very important character and, and such a supportive wife you know it's uh you're right it, absolutely it, it, you know tell us more about it what and what's it more hard for her during your absence during the the, the US tour back in the uh, early um, you know 2000 and 2000 2002, 2002 yeah. 2003 three or, or four and yeah four, it, four. it was a couple of couple of years that she was uh kind of staying here with uh with the our children and we have two adopted children it was four children and uh it was really hard she worked really hard in that period and uh and i don't know how she how she made it and uh, she was very supportive and um and i I, I, I was traveling and uh, feeling like you know on one way on one side I was I, I wanted to you know to to uh, uh, to play our music and uh, you know to get more audience and uh, more people into the music and uh, on the other side I was really uh, uh, involved father you know before I left so it was really really uh, it, it teared me apart sometimes to you know, To be without my children without a nut and uh, uh, and most of the time you you know you don't think about it because you're traveling and from a, from place to place it's a lot of hours you with a band and then you, you play so you know it's kind of uh, you don't think about that but w- when I w- when I was alone you know when when the show was ending and I was like you know trying to get some sleep I was thinking you about you know how how brave she is you know giving letting me go out and trying you know to my my best to do my best uh, abroad and uh yeah I, i i don't know what to say you know she's until until now she's like you know uh she's she's the bravest yeah i even remember when she and the, the other or not baruch had the girl for a former get 
late or not uh, they were managing the band at some point. Yeah. And they now, did a great got, job. But they did. They did. <laughs> they did. Yeah. And uh, now we have some questions from the, from the viewers. So I'll, we'll take the first one. Uh, what was it like for Ellie to revisit this time in making the documentary? To re- revisit? I to revisit, to, to watch the film. Uh, ah, okay, to, to watch, watch the film. film. How was it, how to was watch it myself? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, it was really hard. It was, it was really hard. I, I, I was prepared for that, like uh, Gadi prepared me for that, but, uh, and, 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 I, and when I saw it, I was really uh, upset, and I told Gadi, maybe we should cancel it, you know? Like, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't like myself at all. So, you know i I have trouble with myself anyway, like you know, trying to like myself, you know, for years and years and years I'm working on the you know accepting myself, you know so uh it was it was really a uh, rough imp- experience to see myself because i I was trying in the in the movie, I didn't do any effort. I was really honest and i uh, i I was speaking for my heart. And, uh, and and being in music it's it's a struggle it's uh, it's uh, it's not a it's, it's not always uh, easy and most of the time it's not easy you're writing songs you want it to, you know the, the people to like it you you you're doing a lot of shows I'm a, I have a stage fear you know that I'm taking care of and uh, and uh, it's not easy for me to perform when I'm on stage I I, the, you know, after a couple of minutes, I think there's magic and uh, then and then I'm pulling myself together and I'm trying, you know, to be to 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 love the crowd. And I think uh, they they give it give it to me back. And uh, but it's uh, it's uh, it's not easy to 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 see yourself in uh, in like uh, down moments and uh, and, uh, you know, with really really hard uh, 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 moments if I can say something yeah. the, the, the f- first we have to remember that the band is also Baruch and uh, Mark which this is a part this is a triple I mean the winning triple uh, Isa left the band he was part of it uh, but he was I'm part sorry. of it for yeah. most of the years you know most yeah. of the years he was but, but the, um, little, after uh, I came one year after he came to the band, he left the band. He left me, he left everybody, he left his life. He went to Haifa and uh, we had to continue with, you know, with, with his brother and lots of uh, uh, another uh, drummer. So we had a triple uh, in the film. As a director, I had a triple. And I understand that I needed the support of uh, Bauch and Mark to do the film. But I need also Ellie and to take him as the... To the front because he's willing to expose himself which yes. which i can understand Bauch and mark they didn't want to expose like that and and without that we didn't have a feeling because you know it, most of the tapes are rehearsing and backstage and you know traveling and 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 the narrative and the human story and and the the character and everything is coming from Ellie and his family and his great mother, uh, which I love. And, and, and this is the secret of the film. Without that, you know, the, the secret of the co- documentary, I think nobody learns how to do documentary. Uh, it's, uh, you need uh, a medium camera and a very big access. That's it. You know, mentioning the mother, suddenly when you, when you were talking about the mother, I just realized now that I I actually know three of the mothers you know <laughs> well I've seen Ellie mother at the field I, I know Isa Tenenbaum m- mother Ruti very well because I also practice at their <laughs> practice room at their house. house yeah very <laughs> supportive to come to all the rock for concerts and whatever you know yeah and I met Mark mother at his first wedding. Great wedding I was so drunk at his wedding I came from London and he let me stay at his parents house like <laughs> 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 great mothers I haven't met a mother I don't know anything about her but uh, mm-hmm. 
Um, uh, there is a question, uh, Gadi, uh, did, did, did you know Ellie and the band personally before making the, well, you answered that, you knew Isar. Yeah, I, I knew Isar, not, not the band. I knew only Isar personally. I was a fan of the band. We the same age almost, and we grew up together. And only when I met Ellie in, in the Unite of the band in uh, 2014, and after I think one year we became friends and close and close and close and finally we are brothers. What's your favorite Rock 4 song, Gatti? Wow. Or album, or album. Didn't. This is not in the list you gave me this question. <laughs> wow, this is very difficult. It's like... Uh... So Ellie, there is a question for you, for you. For Ellie, has your background in painting and sculpting affected your music in any way? And I wanted to add, uh, uh, I, nobody here knows, but I know because I know the stories. At high school, you and Baruch studied fashion so <laughs> no, but before, uh, all those guys but before, and, and... before that I studied uh, art in uh, in another school and uh, and uh, yeah of course the the, the art is uh, is uh, you know uh, the, the the painting is uh, influencing the the music and the music is influencing the painting and I'm I'm trying to do uh, it's uh, most of the time I'm doing music but sometimes I'm I'm getting you know like a uh, that that passion to do to 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 paint or to to do something artistic in in another way of music and uh yeah it's a very uh it's 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 all together i think yeah it's amazing and how I, do you i don't know if i answer answer the, the the question but uh yeah that's what i'm feeling let's hope there was so much footage from the tour that they are writing who was shooting that and uh, was there a plan to make a concert film at the time or, wa or was it just personal footage? Did God know it existed before deciding it was, to make the film? Ellie? No, he didn't know. He didn't know that it's uh, exist it, the, uh, the existence of, uh, of all that footage. And, uh, I, and, uh, and uh, the band was really not into uh, li like... Uh, into the video and uh, I, I had rough times in, you know taking the, those videos and uh and lucky us we you know it's it helped because uh, wow. everybody wants to see you know in real time you don't want to see yourself you don't want to film yourself it's it's much easier you know just to travel without that annoying you know somebody is always filming and it's it's kind of it's not it's not it's it takes off the privacy of all the you know but uh but after a couple of years it's uh, it's amazing to see you know the studio suddenly and the and the and the and the tour and the, those moments it's 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 uh, amazing it's precious it's uh and and it really helped the movie it really helped this is uh, the time gave the movie. this is the time machine sorry Eddie. this, this is the yeah, time no, machine course. When you, you you can go back, not to the future, to the past. You can go back to the past and and watch a artist when he was twenty something, and now you can see almost fifty something, and you see all the spectrum, and and th this is exciting. This is excited me. The moment I saw the footage, I was almost crying. I was so happy. Because th this is the the power of the feeling, the how deep it can go. Absolutely. Daddy, are, are you happy with, with the way the film is uh, being edited, or, or, or were there any intervening tarvut from a third party uh, that wanted to see more of something and less than something else, like the TV stations or anything? And this is your question. <laughs> this is my question. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And every every film as uh, we are not uh, uh, there is nobody can walk in in uh, empty space. There is emotions, people, families, careers. There is a TV broadcaster that pays for that. There is a film found that uh, needs to keep the artistic and um, a pure film. 
as a documentary, but the, the core belongs to, to the team who create the film, which is the editor, Noit and Yonatan, and the people who helped me to, to film, and all the advisors, the, lots of people. Okay, this is the core. But at the, um, at the stages, when we, we did a first a rough cut, and then we do a, a smaller cut, and we, we, we shape, you know, we shape the stone to get the statue. There is always uh, people who come to see, uh, to advise. Nobody told me this is no and this is yes, and there was no, not, nothing was bad, I mean. And, um, but I had to, to, to think about the people who are inside, their feeling, because I had uh, lots of, uh, as you can imagine, difficult moment from the backstage. Um, which are not helping the narrative. They are very yellow, and you know, in some stage, I thought I came. I I, I remember I sent mail to to Yes Doco. I told him maybe we do a series because I saw so many um, archives and everything, and they told me no, it's all for. We cannot do a series. It's not Giddy Go. They told me, <laughs> you know, it's not Kaveret. I tell him, okay, so. I think there is, from on the timeline, there is a, a full film, which is a very good film and is outside of the film. Wow. I'd love to see it also. It's, uh... I wish, I wish. Okay, there's a question, Ellie. How has being in the band affected your day-to-day -day life? Besides COVID-19, if there wasn't mm -hmm. COVID-19, how uh, has it been affected? Uh, it takes a lot of, uh, of, sp of space in my life. The band is taking a lot of, uh, of days of my life. It's, uh, most of the time it's good. <laughs> Sometimes it's, uh, it takes, you know, I have to, uh, uh, you know, put, put myself, you know, like, you know, to, on, on, uh, on the side and, you know, and uh, take care of the, of the band. But it's it's okay, you know. It's okay. Uh, it's uh, that that's the way it goes. Uh, it's a lot of work, the band. But uh, it's it's also very uh, uh, rewarding, you know, to be in the, in in that kind of band. So there's a question: uh, What has the reaction to the film been in Israel? Where else has it screened? But let's talk about the reaction in, to the film in Israel. Eli, starting with you. Uh, I, I get a lot of reactions, uh, emotional reactions, and uh, you know that uh, the film is, uh, is, uh, is very touching, and, uh, and the music is good, and the people that, also people that didn't know a rock for, you know, the music, they, they getting into it, uh there's people who's uh offering me help you know to you know if if i'm down you know they can they they they're saying that that they can help uh oh, i'm saying thank you and uh yeah yeah there's a lot a lot of reaction almost every day i get a lot of reactions of, of, of the movie yeah there's a uh, yeah and godly how do you see yeah. it? what the reactions that First, I have to tell you that the film is not about music. It's really, it's the, the film is about a dream. It's about how to, to, to do what you wish to do in life and to do what you really want. The film is about... Uh, Ellie is the, the main character in the, and he's, uh, he, he presents the narrative, but the narrative is not music. The music is legendary. But the music is the, you know, is, is holding the cake. It's not the cake. The cake made of uh, feelings, emotions, dreams. Dreams came true, not came true. To dare to dream, to do, to do things behind your abilities. It's, it's totally emotionally a human feeling, which everybody can connect to it. And this is the reactions I get. I, I mean, people who don't know, like, or, you know, whatever, uh, or have uh, something with rock for, could watch the film and, and to be emotioned by it and connect to it. And 
that, that's the mission i mean that's my mission right and and we were talking about that but that's another question ellie is so honest throughout the film was it hard for you gadi to convince ellie to open up in the film I can tell you that there is a, on the floor of the editing room a, more materials, a, emotional materials which are a, very difficult to see or to a, um, which how can I say it good? A, we We decided together to leave them outside. A, I think Eli, the moment he decided that he's into it, He, he told me, one day he told me, okay, full Monty. That's the word. Okay, but he, and he took it all the way through. So in, in some way, we had to keep his, his uh, to keep him. And I, now it's the, the, the moment to say thank you to the editors, which told me this is very nice, very yellow, put it outside. Lucky me. <laughs> Mary, marry us, marry us. <laughs> When did Isar leave the band? I may have missed it in the film, but he was there at the beginning of the reunion rehearsal, then there was a new drummer. Gadi? Yeah. You know the uh, time. Okay, in calendar time, it uh, doesn't matter, it was around uh, 2015-16, something's around, but we decided In the narrative not to make a big issue about uh, about this I filmed it very very um, to details the how he left and the new drummers came but at the end when we saw it in the edit room we decide this is not the narrative and this is not the story and uh, Isa decided to leave the past and to is in another uh, place now and to We put it on the side and we saw that nobody miss it and and is a legendary drummer as you said and is a good friend very good friend but uh, he decided to do it and I honored him and I saw that the film is enough and more than enough without uh, all this uh, saga. Ellie, a question from anonymous attendee. The, the scenes with your son Eli are so beautiful. What was it like to have those conversations with him? Um, it was a very honest conversations and I uh, told him that uh, you know he, he, sh- he should uh, consider really seriously you know being a musician continue and he wants to be a musician he's writing songs he's, uh, he's playing guitar and um, it was important for me to uh, to, to, to uh, you know to re- remind him that it's not an easy life to be a musician there's a it's like a roller coaster and the uh, That, that was the uh, you, usually I, I'm very supportive you know is I'm, I'm, I'm telling my uh, my children to do whatever they feel you know that it's you know it, go with the heart but uh, it was important also for me to say the truth to tell him look, look you know I'm, I'm doing I'm doing music I'm, I'm, I'm into music a lot of years and uh, I love music and I can't you know, imagine myself not doing music but I know that I'm paying uh, a price for that life so that was the kind of uh, the conversations between us great I think it's great great scene and the Ariana Ariana is, is back with us are you there's no more questions and, uh... well I, I I know where we have the treat of hearing Ellie perform um, soon he's gonna play a song for us um, before we transition there I would love to hear from both you Ellie and God about a little bit of what you hope will come out of this film I know you know it, it is certainly going to bring um, rock for to an even broader audience and I think God you spoke so beautifully about you Um, how the, the heart of the, the film not even being about music. Um, so I'm, I'm curious to hear and then transition to a song about um, 
where you hope the film goes and, and what people take away from it. Um, you want me to start? Uh, first, uh, as I can smell that we are finishing, I have to tell thank you to Mark and Baruch, which are work for for me. Also, it's a it's a band, and uh, it's a band, and uh, to everybody who helped me, of course. Um, we had uh, the COVID this year, so. Actually, we opened Dokaviv uh, Film Festival, which was my dream as a creator to open the festival in a Zoom performance. And it was um, very happy and very sad. Uh, I was imagining that Rockfall from here is going to, to a big tour in Israel and uh, finally, we'll get the place I think they are belong to in in the main uh, rock and roll indie in Israel. Actually, they are only the only band that exists in the rock and roll uh, industry. I mean, exists permanently because all of the bands in Israel are coming uh, reunite uh, and do uh, uh, gigs for 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 money. But uh, rock for is the real thing, and they still exist. And I remember uh, lots of uh, uh, arguments in the rehearsal room with Baruch uh, uh, and Yaki, which is the, the keyboardist and is young. Uh, we, we should need a hit. We should look for audience. We should look for, for more, uh, od more, more crowded uh, uh, shows. And always Baruch uh, told, uh, uh, always, we should keep the language of rock for our unique language. And what I thought as a creator that uh, this language and this unique language uh, now can deliver to more people that uh, in another generation that uh, don't know or didn't knew about the band. And I think part of it we made, I hope that after the COVID ends uh, uh, soon, and uh, they will open the theaters. We, we can make a show and screening together and um, give Rockford uh, the place that they are deserved. Hopefully not just in Israel, but we can bring, bring you here to Boston in the future as wow. well. That would be great. And I know I, I would like just just to, on that I know that you've played once in Boston before. Is that is that correct? Yeah, we, we played in Boston and uh, and uh, lucky us uh, Brian Wilson was playing you know really near to us. Uh, so it, it was a, another venue biggest biggest than we played, and we had the opportunity to go and see his show, and it was uh, really inspiring and uh, and Boston is beautiful. And also, I love uh, the band Boston more than a feeling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 more than a feeling. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, you, so, you're, going, well, you're, you're going to play a song from your classic supermarket album, your first English mm -hmm. album that you might mm -hmm. have played in Boston. Uh, yeah, probably I played it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Ellie, if you'll tell us what you're going to play for us and, and yeah, it's uh, the, the the song is called Powers, and uh, it's from the the album Supermarket, and uh, I didn't play it for a long time, so uh, I'm excited, you know. I hope I remember everything. And uh, okay, should I should I try? Is it all about the powers? That the bees come to the flowers I don't know Yes, I know Do I really need to bother And to look for the other I don't know I don't know And it's over and out And it all comes to an end It all comes to an end And it all comes to an end I think so I think 
so And you gave me no good reasons God, you know this isn't easy Well, I know Yes, I know Is it all about the secrets? No one ever knew the frequencies I know Yes, I know But it's over and I'm And it all comes to an end And it all comes to an end And it all comes to an end I think so So, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for playing and for being with us. Um, thank you, Shai, uh, for moderating and for sharing your own memories of the band. God, thank you so much for this film. Um, I'm looking forward to sharing it with an even broader audience over the next few days. Everyone, tell your friends it's screening until March 10th. and. We really hope to bring you here to Boston. And thank you, Ellie, for sharing your story so thank openly you. um, in this film and for being with us here today. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Thanks. And thanks to thank everyone for the great questions and for being with us here this evening. Um, I know it's it's midnight in Israel, so we will let you get yeah. to bed. But thank you for, for staying <laughs> thank up. You very much. Here with us. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. It's thank still you. at 2 o'clock in the noon time here. <laughs> the <laughs> desert. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> desert yeah. time. <laughs> desert time. <laughs> Thanks, Rob Paul. I'm going to the beach. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.